Story of an angry girlfriend. Once upon a time, a boyfriend told his girlfriend, "Babe, I won't be able to meet you tomorrow. My college project isn't submitted yet. Got to work on it." She got angry. "What? You're canceling again? Your excuses never end. Why can't you finish your work in time?" "What excuses? I was busy this weekend. Couldn't finish it." "Busy doing what?" Playing your lame ass video games? You're lame ass. Stop making a fuss about every small thing. I'm sick of this. Sick of this? What do you mean by this? Stop trying to act like a victim. Get your shit together. This means every damn conversation with you. Don't lecture me every time. I wouldn't have to if you were even a tiny bit responsible. There we go. Your lecturing never ends. I'm out of this conversation. This time I'm not talking to you for a month. Bye. Month. Yeah, very mature. Hello? Don't tell me you ran off again. Ugh. story ends for now what is this mess could this have been avoided yes that's why i'm making this video so let's break this down and put it under microscope what exactly happened boyfriend canceled the plan girlfriend got angry and started criticizing him he got angry back and left in frustration who could have acted better answer is of course both but Today we are going to focus on just the boyfriend. Why? Because I want to keep the video short and I only want to focus on how to deal with others anger. So, what happened with the boyfriend? Let's discuss his internal workings. Let's divide it into three parts and we call them A, B and C. So original, right? Actually, this is the ABC of CBT, literally. CBT is cognitive behavior therapy. So this is Mr. boyfriend. And this is the girlfriend angry and criticizing him. he perceives this event as i am under attack and that leads to what he gets angry girlfriend angry and criticizing him is a him feeling i am under attack is b and him getting angry is c so where did things go wrong think a b or c the answer is b because this is an irrational interpretation Let's zoom in on this. So the A event again was the girlfriend is criticizing me and that leads to the irrational interpretation. This is she's attacking me, right? This is the irrational one. Stop the video for a second and think what could be a rational interpretation. I know you didn't stop. Let's continue anyway. I'll now give you an example of a wiser, more rational interpretation. So again, the same event, girlfriend is criticizing me, but this time The interpretation starts like this. She's criticizing me right now clearly because she's angry. She's angry because she really wanted to meet me. She was probably looking forward to it a lot and then I canceled it again and her anger is understandable. And wow, there is someone in this world who'll get angry to meet me. It's annoying but still amazing. She actually misses me. How empty my life would be if I didn't have this love. Yes, she shouts at me sometimes, but I'm actually pretty lucky. and this leads to he smiles inside earlier he got angry now he smiles inside this seemed wiser didn't it what really changed here he stopped to consider the context behind her anger he actually considered the explanation behind it but there's a second thing in that explanation he looked for what's good just looking at the context isn't enough finding good in it is very important too because context alone can go in any direction For example the interpretation without finding good could have gone something like this again the same event girlfriend is criticizing me and the interpretation is she's criticizing me because she's angry and she's angry because she really wanted to meet me and i canceled the plan again why does she always want to meet me so bad does she have no life of her own why am i so unlucky to have such a clingy demanding girlfriend and then this leads to he gets disappointed so even though he looked at the context but because he did not find anything good in it he ultimately gets disappointed this doesn't seem so wise does it we need both first seeing the context second finding good in it so this is where we left off now the sequence of event is going to be different a is still the same that girlfriend is angry and criticizing him but now he processes this event and the context as you see here and the result is the interpretation becomes i am lucky to have this instead of i am under attack i am lucky to have this and ultimately that changes his state of mind and now he smiles inside 
earlier he was angry now he's smiling inside and i would briefly like to point out the two things that we mentioned earlier the first was he sees the context that's what changes here and second he looks for good in it he finds the good in it and thus we have a happy ending i want you to remember this quote when evaluating others behavior look with a bias for explanations that make them seem reasonable and well intentioned this is for your own mental peace first don't go away there's bonus content at the end before that some information about us thanks for listening to my videos but if you are dealing with complex issues and your problems are deep rooted and very painful then i suggest you should go for counseling you can find somebody on your own or you can come to us we now have a team of counselors so even if i am unable to work with you personally you can trust our counselors they work very hard to help you you can find our counseling application form in the youtube description or on our website www.shridharlifeschool.com now this is the bonus content and here i'm going to tell you about the abc of cbt basically whenever you're dealing with emotional issues i want you to remember this diagram this way of thinking okay and how you can change it so a is activating event a b is belief your interpretation c is the consequence the feeling or action earlier what happened was girlfriend was shouting his interpretation was she's attacking me and then the consequence was he gets angry and shouts back at the partner right so that's a b c but now after the change in thoughts after changing in interpretation this is how it goes now the girlfriend is still shouting but now his interpretation is his belief is she's angry because she's unable to meet me which means she really loves me now this leads to a different consequence which is he now feels lucky and privileged he smiles inside and actually calms her down this is the core mechanism how you can change your thoughts and thus your emotions and behaviors and in a way this is the core mechanism behind changing your whole life thanks for listening